Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the December Spirit Pick Me Up reading. So I haven't done these in a while. It feels like ages. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. And as we go into December, I wanted to check in with all the messages from Spirit for us uh, for heading into December. And again, it's holiday spirit time. So bringing lots of love and joy to the holidays. We're going to tap into natural oracles for life. So we're going to get messages for the journey for our mind, body, spirit. Then we're going to get real divine self-care, uh, what we can keep in mind. We're going to tap into real divine abundance because we need to stay connected to real divine abundance. What is in our divine power? And then we're going to tap into real divine spirit messages for our divine spirit. And we're going to end it with pure love from spirit. This is loved ones passed on in our spirit guides some love for us. So let's tap into the natural oracle for life and tap into our journey. And what are the messages for our mind, body, spirit as we go into December? Let's see. What are the messages for mind, body, spirit that they would like to give to us for our mind? Oh, they're ready already. Okay. For our mind, body, spirit as we head into December. For the mind, body, spirit messages for December. What should we keep in mind and in our hearts for December? What would be helpful? Okay, there's one. Okay, time to let go. I kept on saying in all the spirit messages and readings before, this was such a clear out time. Uh, they kept on saying the rest of the year was clean out time. Yep, 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 yep. So the number one card is release, release to fly. We're letting go of so much. There is a divine clearing happening. Um, I had started that at the end of November all through December. We're really letting go of a lot. And it says it's time to let go and release yourself from anyone or anything that is holding you down. It's your time to release, let go, and fly. So we're moving on. You can almost feel like a new energy is coming on and we're clearing for it. It's been a recurring spirit message in reading. So anything that's outlived its purpose, it could be people, situations, um, even old habits, behaviors. You could feel that you're even making resolutions early, like even starting in December, not waiting to January 1st is a side message I was getting earlier today. There's so much more new energy coming in. And as, as you release and let go, if you're not feeling it anymore, it's going... Um, but letting go, letting go, letting go, you could see on the world stage and individually we're releasing and clearing so much. And the world is yours. Um, when I get this card, I feel like it's a final completion of things and also reiterating literally the world is yours. The world is your oyster. You are being given the world to leave your mark on it. So go for what you truly want. And this is it. We're going into um, a clean slate, a fresh, the world is yours. So release and clear and let go of everything that, release whatever holds you back from just flying uh, forward. And the world is yours. You're being given the world to leave your mark on it and go for what you truly want. So it's a time to really clear out and release and then start going for the things that you really want. The world is yours. The world is your oyster. Um, so you may be doing all this work now in December, so January truly feels like you're going for the new, you're going for more, um, but clear out, clear out, release. For the rest of December, the world is yours. Now we have trust your intuition. Um, as you clear out, first of all, it landed out on release, release, release. You're going to listen and get such a divine guidance. Trust your intuition. You're being moved. We've been getting that over and over again. Flashes of intuition are your divine guidance right now. So trust your intuition as you're receiving that direct guidance to help you. It will lead the way forward. Feel it, know it, and trust it. They kept on saying we're following our divine headlights. Trust your intuition, what you're getting. If you feel nudged in some direction, you're going to be getting your divine intuition and guidance is off the charts. You're being divinely moved by that. And listen, go with the flow, which we've been getting over and over. You are to go with the flow and not fight the current right now. You're being moved on purpose to a better place or situation. Go with the flow. This is, they keep saying this over to give us great peace, that no matter what it looks like as we go with the flow, don't fight the current. We're being divinely moved on purpose. So know that as you're being released, releasing to clear to fly, the world is yours to leave your mark. Go for what you really want. Trust your intuition and follow what you're getting, your divine guidance, your intuition. 
that's going with the flow, right? And here, this part, you are being divinely moved on purpose to a better place or situation. Know that and trust that your intuition is also helping you realize you can release, let go, and move forward, and it helps you stay in the flow. Um, following your intuition, absolutely. And we're all being divinely moved. Um, you could see that playing out on the big stage and the small stage on your individual life. Um, so this time for December, release, release, release. The world is yours. Go for what you truly want. Follow that intuition. It's your direct guidance and intuition. And you're divinely being moved. And keep going with the flow. Don't fight the current at all. Okay. And then we have, yes, yes, yes. You are a pillar of strength. That has been coming through, and it says, be that pillar of strength when you feel the swirls of energy around you. You can stand strong and get through anything. You are a pillar of strength in the face of anything. Um, this is reiterating the strength. They kept on saying, you didn't know your own. We, what was that Whitney Houston song? I didn't know my own strength through this time. We're coming through this really strong, resilient. Um, that's how we're getting through this period. Okay, now there are a whole bunch is coming out. We're amplifying our strength. We have creativity coming out. Oh, you can't make this up. Okay. Wait till you see the next three cards. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We have expecting unexpected. This has been coming up over and over. Expecting unexpected. So things could be dropping into your life at this time. Someone or something good is about to drop into your life unexpectedly. Expect the unexpected in the most unexpected times and places. So we're going to get be getting a lot of unexpected goodness coming in. We have the Garden of Creativity. You have such a lush Garden of Creativity, so tend to it, sow those seeds, water the dreams, and show your attention like the sun, encouraging those creations to fruition. Tend to your garden of creativity and watch it grow now. So you could be getting great ideas, especially at this time. Really tend to your garden of creativity. We had a whole slew. The next one that came up was divine timing. Talk about being divinely moved. There is divine timing happening at work here. Feel a great peace rising within you right now in this very moment, knowing you are right now perfectly in sync with divine timing. So they kept on reiterating that we're being divinely moved right now. So trust your intuition. You're very strong at this time. There are unexpected good things coming in and your creativity is off the charts. They're acknowledging you've had a lot to, oh my gosh, harvest time. You've been working very hard. Um, it says it's harvest time. You've worked so hard and now a much deserved harvest is now coming from your efforts. So you may be getting rewards for hard work or something unexpected with your creativity or work that you're doing that's going to be paying off, which is going to lead to celebration time. It's time to celebrate, feel abundance and joy coming in. It's time to sparkle and shine and have some much deserved fun. We've been getting this card all through the holidays. So between Thanksgiving, Christmas, new, all that, you're going to be putting in more happiness, more fun time. Your work is going to be paying off for you. There's creativity is off the charts. Keep going with the flow. Um, follow your intuition. It's everything is with divine timing. You're being divinely moved. A lot's being really re released so you can make new marks on the world, literally. And the last one here is, I love this card, it's the new horizon. It's a new brilliant horizon. Just like they're saying, we're releasing a lot to go forward like the world is yours again. Go for what you truly want. And you're going to be going forward and you're going to be starting to see a brilliant horizon, a new brilliant horizon. There's a new brilliant horizon developing here for you. Something brand new is slowly coming into view and it will bring something brilliant into your life. So I would say hard work is definitely paying off. Your creativity is off the charts. Have some fun in between. You're being divinely moved. Keep going with the flow. Some things could be unexpected, like unexpected rewards for hard work. Um, trust your intuition as you're being divinely moved. And again, we're releasing, releasing, releasing. So we feel again that the world is yours. So you can go forward on what you truly want. Everything is within divine timing. So knowing that, trusting that will help you stay within the flow. And above all, you are being moved on purpose. So no matter what, you know you're one with divine timing and you're going with the flow. You're being divinely moved on purpose. If things need to go and release, let it because you're going to be making new marks on the world and it ends with a new brilliant horizon so yeah it will bring something brilliant into your life so and your creativity is off the charts 
and our intuition is off the chart off the charts so really trust your divine guidance your intuition at this time tend to your garden of creativity uh, shower your attention and your sun and have things grow definitely more fun times and new things coming in on the horizon and it's all within divine timing hard work paying off so that's the summation of december so that's a beautiful brilliant kind of divine september here i mean september december divine all in divine timing and a divine movement really beautiful let's tap into what we can uh tap into for real divine self-care real divine self-care for december what should we hold on to considering real divine self-care new things developing on the horizon some good things unexpected trusting your intuition the whole way knowing that you're being divinely moved feeling again the world's your oyster you can go for what you really want and release 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 all that is not that Let's see, what is the real divine self-care? Real divine self-care. We have follow your heart. Let it light up the way for you. Part of following your intuition, follow your heart. Um, maintain healthy boundaries with others so that you are protected and feel safe. That's been coming up a lot to have healthy boundaries, especially at this time with all that's going on. Not just masks and distancing, but energetic boundaries. Um, maintain healthy boundaries, even the releasing. You may want to follow your heart. Maintain healthy boundaries in all ways with others. So you're protected and feel safe for real divine self-care. Keep following your heart, following your intuition, and have those healthy boundaries. And expand on dreaming for your future and see what gets you excited to move forward on. Remember, the world is your oyster. So start thinking now because... Even before, right before this reading, I was getting, you know, you might even want to do resolutions, even starting in December, not wait for January 1st, because we've released so much. We're in the process of releasing and clearing and trusting your guidance and trusting what your heart wants again and expanding on dreaming for your future and seeing what gets you excited to move forward on. And if it doesn't, you can release it. <laughs> because here they're saying it's time to fly. So let go of anything that, you know, is holding you back or down. You don't have to do it. Let go, let go, let go. So let's get real divine abundance. As we're expanding on dreaming for the future and moving forward on things that get us excited again. Maintaining healthy boundaries, following your heart, letting it light up further. You're so full of intuition and creativity. It's time to break free, release, 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 clear out, and make your mark on the world again. The world's your oyster. What do you really want? What do you really want to get? Oh gosh, now they're all coming out. Yeah, how beautiful. How beautiful. Truly regard every day as having infinite possibilities that are available to you now. Expand on dreaming for your future and see what gets you excited to move forward on. What a beautiful thing to think of starting in December already. You know, we're talking about the world is your oyster, right? The world is yours. What do you really want? Expand on your dreaming for your future and see what gets you excited to move forward on. Remember, we release so much. So truly regard every day as having infinite possibilities that are available to you now. Beautiful. We have, you are connected to infinite possibilities every moment. So again, they're saying, truly regard every day as having infinite possibilities available to you and that you're connected to those infinite possibilities every moment. Oh my God, each positive feeling is creating more right now. So this is a time to be positive and look forward and release all that is not that. And take care of your healthy boundaries, right? Follow your heart and also expand on your dreaming for your future and move forward on what gets you excited. Because back here, this was the first two cards, was setting free and releasing so you could fly, literally. Release anything and anyone that's holding you down. It's your time to release, let go, and fly on the world's your oyster. And it was all about following your intuition and your creativity. Go with the flow. Expect the unexpected. Hard work will be paying off. New brilliant horizons coming in. This is a whole momentum, right? Releasing the old, going for the new, staying connected to infinite possibilities, nurturing that. Expand on your dreaming. What gets you excited? Um, what's in our divine power with this? This is a real different tone for December going to January. It's almost like get started for resolutions now. 
setting your sights on the future? What are you going to leave your mark on the world? What do you want to accomplish? Follow your heart. What do you really want? You can let go. You can release uh, all that's not that. Nurture your creativity. Trust your intuition, your guidance. You're being divinely moved. And feel connected to infinite possibilities every moment and know that each positive feeling is creating more right now. So let's see what's in our divine power as new brilliant horizons are coming in. What's in our divine power for new brilliant horizons? That was the last card of the other deck. Let's see, for new brilliant horizons, a lot is in our divine power. Remember, we had the pillar of strength as well. So this is going to be a time to step into your divine power. You know, I know we pray a lot. We talk, um, you know, about, you know, powers beyond. We're being divinely moved and everything else. But there's also a lot in our divine power to stay connected, actively following your heart. And underneath here, we have the pillar of strength. And now all these divine power cards spell out. So that's saying when they were stressing on this pillar of strength, make no doubt a lot of this staying connected to infinite possibilities, nurturing, nurturing your creativity, staying tapped into your intuition, trusting you're being divinely moved, releasing what you need to so you truly feel that you can leave your mark on the world. The world is yours. What do you really want? Um, that's us actively doing that. So for divine power, we have, you have divine power to tap into for clarity. Remember, we're releasing a lot for clarity, a lot. Clear, clear, clear has been a recurring message for the end of the year. You, and also to get your intuition, you're going to be clear. You have divine power to make it brighter for you and others. Remember, they kept on going on about your, the gift, bring it home. You're bringing the holiday spirit, the joy, the lightness, the fun. We still need it, especially in these times. Um, you can literally make it brighter for yourself and others at this time. That's what your divine power should be used for. Bring in clarity, bring it, make it brighter for yourself and others. You have divine power to rise above it. So much we're rising above right now. Yes, you have divine power running through you now. And you have divine power to connect with for more power. So talk about, like, there is a lot that we are to stay connected. Oopsie. We are a pillar of strength. You have divine power to connect with for more power as we connect with for our intuition, as we nurture our dreams, as we're releasing, when if you need more power, you do things that are actively connecting you to more to divine power and feel really strong for the month of December, especially regarding to the future, going for what you really want, nurturing yourself, nurturing your intuition, your connection, your creativity. Um, there are new horizons here. You're going to have payoffs for hard work. Um, so you're going to be really running on divine power, making it brighter for yourself and others, and you're connecting more to divine or for divine power to get you through because we literally have the pillar of strength. So it's going to be really important for you to feel strong, rising above it, rising above challenges, rising above situations, and making your mark, like going for what you really want is a recurring message for December you, to hustle and to start feeling that now going into the new year like that. So you're literally looking at the world coming out of December like this when you're going into the new year. The world is yours. Go for what you really want. And we even had go for following your intuition, following your heart. It's recurring. Um, so there's going to be a lot of cleanse out release and then really looking at the world, like, what are you going to leave your mark on it? Um, feeling really in your divine power and facing the world that way. And be there for yourself, nurturing yourself, your creativity, staying tapped in for the guidance. Don't be afraid to let go of things that are holding you back or down and, and going for the new. Because the last card of the first deck was literally saying there's brilliant new horizons here. So you want to release and greet those. Um, follow your heart on that one. Follow your intuition on that. Um, so there's a lot of divine power running through us to seize the new, to let go, release, and seize the new and do the work. And follow your intuition and know you're being divinely moved. You're literally being divinely moved. It's all in divine timing. So go with the flow. And now we have divine spirit messages for our divine spirit for December. This is really positive, like new brilliant horizons, release. Clarity is going to be coming in here. There's a strength. We have a pillar of strength we've probably gotten from the, the times that we're in. Um, that's how we're getting through, and we're seizing the world, like a new horizon to go make your mark on it. 
and uh, there's a lot of divine power here so divine spirit messages we believe in you yeah that's the divine spirit for your divine spirit we believe in you what the work that you're doing what you're what you're in the process of doing what you're going for uh, yeah they believe in you so you believe in you we believe in you what you're doing we believe in you this is beautiful we're doing a lot of work it feels like we're in our divine power to do it um, they're giving the, us the divine power to do it and the guidance to do it. And don't be afraid to let go and release and move forward. Let's get more divine spirit messages for our divine spirit for December. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for the new things now. Listen, I mean, this is what they're trying to bring through. I chose. I mean, when you come in here and it says new brilliant horizon, go for the new things now. And we have new brilliant horizon and the first two cards on this deck. I know I'm going everywhere, but it was release and the world is yours. Release so you can fly. The world is yours. And trust. Go with the flow. You're being divinely moved. Um, you're being divinely moved. And look, it's going with the flow. You're being divinely moved to new brilliant horizons. There is a new horizon developing here for you. Something brand new is slowly coming into view. It will bring something brilliant in your life. They're saying you're being divinely moved, released, let go. Um, they believe in you. Keep going, doing what you're doing. Go for the new things now. It's time to stretch yourself. Um, we're going forward for the new. That's a recurring message similar to the rise above it. We're stretching, we're developing, we're reaching for higher, for more. Go for the new things now. We believe in you. Let's see if there are any more divine spirit messages. This is summing up below. Yeah, this, it's summing up below everything that was coming out. It's new brilliant horizons. Release and go for the new. Trust your divine guidance um, on everything. Let's see, real divine spirit messages. Yeah, release the burdens, release the drama. I mean, you can't make this up. The cleanse out, release the burdens now, release the drama of it. Remember they said release to fly. So anything that's a burden, a drama, anything, we're releasing all of that. We're going for new horizons. We're being divinely moved for that. Divine timing is at work even. And you are going to surprise yourself. We're going to surprise ourselves. I have chills with what we're going to be accomplishing, what we're going to be doing. Remember, some of these things are unexpected. Let's end it with pure love from spirit. We're being divinely moved. We're going for the new. That's a definite. And so trust and go with the flow. Trust your divine guidance. Stay in your power like a pillar of strength was going through. It's time to stretch yourself. They believe in you. Go for the new. Release, release, release. Or be prepared to fly, basically. And leave your mark on the world. What do you really want to do? What do you really want to accomplish? It's that kind of thing. So get ready in December. And then we'll be going into uh, 2021 like that. So this is very much like being in your power, being in your strength, trust your intuition, nurture your creativity, going for the new, new horizons, literally. We have two instantly. We are supporting you from loved ones and spirit guides. We will help you feel secure. We need to because we're going for the new and everything has been not secure around us at this time. What are the pure love messages from our loved ones, the sun and spirit guides as we go for the new and not afraid to release to fly. So it's like release to fly. I almost want to name it that. Release to fly. So much newness is coming in. We're here for you through this. Yeah, I mean, this has been such a journey and um, it's going, to, you know, it's not easy going through this process. We're here through, with us through this and we've got two more. We're sending you signs, so pay attention. This has been coming through a lot, so stay open for the signs from them and we are here for you. So they are here. They're going to help us feel secure. They're supporting us. They're sending us signs along the way. We're being divinely moved. It is all within divine timing. But follow and trust your intuition. But there is a lot. It's literally released to fly and new horizons coming in. So don't be afraid or like to release dramas or burdens or any of that for new things to come in. Because this is all about new horizons coming in. Release to fly. Make your mark on the world. What do you really want? So this could be a time of really getting the clarity on that. Seeing what needs to go. What we can release to forge a new leave our marks on the world and have rewards coming in and uh, we have tremendous backing here you could even feel a sense that they're trying to help you feel more secure through this time and support you by sending you signs 
um, but definitely go for the new. You may even surprise yourself by what you can accomplish. They believe in you. So it's time to stretch yourselves. You know, as we have the pillar of strength, um, you have a lot of strength here and it's time to go for new horizons and or to start in that direction so that you know by January you're really heading in that direction going for the new. They want one more pure love, okay? One more pure love. They want the best for you. Yeah, I mean, that's what they, they want the best for you. So release all else and go for what you really want. Go for the new horizons. Um, that's really what they're saying. We want the best for you and they believe in you. So keep going forward like that. Release, release, release. Go for the new and uh, be released to fly, basically. Okay, so this has been Spirit Pick Me Up reading for December. Take care. Bye-bye.